Tofu was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Tofu Mafu. It's a crack fighter. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Behind you, Chris. Hey, we've been creature adventuring in a bat cave. Boy, do we smell like bat guano. Bat guano is bat poop. And bat guano smells big time. Hey, let's call Zabu. All right. Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Hey, Zabu! Hey, Zabu! He's here! Hey, Zabu! You must have smelled this all the way in the forest. You know Zabu. No chat until after he's had a snack. So what do you think's in the snack machine? Zabu! Banana! Come on! There you go. Mm, we all love bananas. OK, one more little piece. There you go. Excuse me. Zabu Mafu! I love bananas. You smell. You smell different. Well, not the same. Not like Chris, not like Martin. That's because we have the smell of guano on us. Guano? Guano? <laughs> What's guano? Poop. Poop. <laughs> not all creatures like the smell of bat poop, but most creatures are really curious about how other creatures smell. I saw a creature in the forest. Smell, smell, sniff, sniff. That's what he did. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's one big body. And what a nose. <laughs> He used his nose to eat with. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a big, long-nosed creature. Do you know who he is? Long, snaky nose. Big, floppy ears. Big, round feet. Tiny eyes. Really, really heavy. Little tail. It's a baby elephant! Hunga <laughs> Zika! Mystery animals here! Wow! Hey. How you doing? A baby ethylent? Elephant, Zob! Elephant. Elephant. Hi, elephant! I think he's interested in our guano smell. <laughs> Maybe he followed our smell all the way to Animal Junction. Wow, look at these feet. See, these are the toes. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. These are the toenails. The bottom of an elephant's foot is like one big soft pad. This helps an elephant walk really quietly, even though he's so big. Manga Chica. Wow. Your hair is hard. Yeah, the hair that covers an elephant's body is hard and bristly. Like 
a toothbrush. Ooh. But this <laughs> toothbrush is more his size. <laughs> Let's give him a good back scratch. Yeah, scratch is good, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to scratch right behind his ears. Hey, Chris, try that on me. Sure, Zob. Uh, oh, that feels good. Oh, oh, lower down my back. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. How's oh, that, Zob? Oh, yeah. Harder, 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 harder. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> you okay, Zob? Yeah. Come on, Zob. Huh? Let's keep brushing. <laughs> Underneath the belly. Uh. I can't cover that much elephant with this little toothbrush, so I have to do the detail work. How does that feel? Boy, hard with a small toothbrush. Hey, look at the elephant's tail. It's kind of like a toothbrush, too. See those bristles? <laughs> Back to scratching. There's a lot of elephant to cover. And he loves being scratched with a toothbrush. Hey, can I call you toothbrush? Toothbrush, that's a great name, Zob. A good toothbrush scratch for toothbrush. Yup, and we scratched him from top to bottom. An elephant has one of the most incredible noses. It's called a trunk. Trunk? A trunk? Huh, his trunk is longer than my whole body. And toothbrush can do incredible things with this nose. Can he blow a goobleberry off his nose? Toothbrush, what are you doing? Hey, you smelling my shoes. An elephant uses his nose to help him talk. <laughs> Elephants make all kinds of sounds. When they're excited or surprised, they trumpet. Wow. No, 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 that tickles. <laughs> He can tickle with his nose, too. That's right, Zob. An elephant uses his nose to explore. Hey, what's he doing with harmonica? <laughs> Toothbrush, you're playing the harmonica. Harmonica? An elephant's nose is always up to something. What a nose, yeah. Look how the elephant can grab onto things with his trunk. <laughs> Just call me Trunk Fingers. <laughs> I wish my nose could grab onto things and reach out. It's like having an arm and a hand on your face. What a nose. Wow. <laughs> and look at the way he uses his nose as a straw. He sucks water up into his nose and then blows it out into his mouth. That's the way an elephant drinks, with his nose. A creature who drinks with his nose? I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Whoa, another amazing thing an elephant can do with his nose. Use it as a hose. Toothbrush gave you a shower, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elephants spray themselves and each other to keep cool. Because nothing feels better than a cool shower on a hot African afternoon. Sabu, have a look at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're supposed to kick it. He's trying to eat the soccer ball. I can't believe my mind. Wow, look at him kick that ball. <laughs> Let's play. Wow. Hey, he's really good at this. <laughs> I'm at ya. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I wonder who taught him to play soccer. Through the left. Oh, nice hey. kick. Nice kick, toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa. Thanks, toothbrush. Oh, whoa. That reminds me of something that happened in... Sabu land. Wow. I was leaping along, leap, 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 when all of a sudden, I heard a sniffling sound. I took one big leap and landed next to Narchi, who was standing next to Google and crying. What's the matter, Narchi? Why are you crying? We're trying to play catch with the Goobleberry, but I can't throw because my arms are too stubby. <laughs> well, I said we could play another game, but uh, he wants to play catch. 
<laughs> I've got an idea, Narchi. Don't use your arms to throw. Use your nose and blow. Oh, good idea. <laughs> oh, good idea, huh? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, right. Here we go. Oh. And I'm the lever oh, in the ready. middle. Yeah. <laughs> ready. Oh. 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 Nice catch. Oh. It worked. <laughs> I can play. All right, let's do it again. Oh. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> So we played Goobleberry Catch all day, and I was the lemur in the middle. <laughs> Here, catch! The end. <laughs> Chris, Martin, toothbrush is hungry. I want to eat those. <laughs> we have a lot better stuff. Come over here to the food machine. All right, so what do you want? Okay, you know, you don't want that. That's for a kawadi. This is for a porcupine. Let's see. Here, how about... I know we have stuff for elephants. Can you back up a little bit? Hey, right over here. Elephant stuff. Look, see that? There we go. Push it together. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Chris, it's on the fritz again. Uh-oh. Not again. I'll get the I'll tools. Be right back. Yeah. We'll fix it up to feed an elephant. Hold it, Martin. Look at that. Toothbrush has an idea. Your nose. Good idea, Toothbrush. Whoa. Look at that trunk go. <laughs> well, I guess he fixed it himself. <laughs> That's an amazing thing about an elephant's nose. Hey, you know, this is too much work, though. We still got to fix this machine. Yeah. At this rate, he'll never fill his belly. Man, Toothbrush has a big belly. <laughs> because elephants need a lot of food. When an elephant's hungry and wants some leaves, she might push down the whole tree. Then her nose goes into action, packing in over 300 pounds of food in one day. Hang on there, Toothbrush. Yeah, we just have to fix this thing up to feed an elephant. We're ready. Let's give it a try. <laughs> now this is what an elephant needs. A lot of food. He eats as much as a dinosaur. There you go. Lots <laughs> that apple. I'm already full, but he just keeps on eating. Let's watch this apple go from the elephant's trunk into his mouth. I love the sounds the elephant makes when he eats. <laughs> You're the greatest toothbrush. I'm feeling kind of elephantish. I'm feeling kind of elephantish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel elephantish. How about you? Elephantish. Ella, Ella, elephantish. <laughs> elephantish. <laughs> I'm a long nosed noser, nosing all around. Elephantish. <laughs> Toothbrush is my elephant friend. Yeah, Zob. And the elephants say hello to their friends with their trunks. Wow! Toothbrush really likes Chris. Elephants are really social animals. That means they like to be together. They really don't like being on their own much. Elephants live together in groups, and a group of elephants is called a herd. Where's his family? Hope he's not lost. He must have wandered away from the herd when he followed his nose to Animal Junction. But the herd must be close by, because everybody in the herd looks after the baby elephants. Elephants are a lot like us. Like people. A young elephant stays with his mom for a long, long time. I think Toothbrush wants to go back to his herd soon. Hmm. <laughs> what was that? What? Huh? Everybody, duck! 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 It's a vulture, not a duck! <laughs> All right. Manga chica! Look at those wings! Woo! <laughs> wow! 
And look at that 